for those of you that don't know me, Laura's father, Bob. Very, very happy father tonight. Don't cry. <sighs> Laura, you're looking beautiful tonight. I'm your father, so I'm biased. Definitely biased. And I'm sure Lewis is looking at you, thinking how lucky he is. I know he is. So I just wish he was wearing socks. <laughs> It's hard to believe that we're here today. Little did I know when I saw Lewis at the Wellington Street bus station 11 years ago, sitting next to a little blonde girl, would that be his wife? Lewis has done a really good job making sure that um, he's held on to her because you know, God knows what she could have had. Lewis and Laura were inseparable from the beginning and it was very clear to everyone that they had something special that would eventually lead us to this day. From the beginning of the relationship until today and the whole time Laura and Lewis have been together as a couple, I cannot recall a single time that Laura's cried because of Lewis. So thank you, she's in good hands. He'd asked me when I was about 10 or 11 if, it, if I'd be here doing this speech for Lewis at, this, at his wedding, I may have given you a bit of a concerned look. The reason for this being that despite having seen albums full of baby photos, Lewis had all but convinced me that I was adopted. I became so convinced of it that for a while I was literally waking up each morning wondering if this was the day of mum and dad were going to pull me aside and break, me, break the news. I'm not sure I ever met someone who speaks with so much confidence and conviction. Often he would be challenged and often he would rebut. He must have spoken with so much conviction when he asked Laura to be his girlfriend and then wife. Like I said, she could have done much better. <laughs> These are all jokes. He's hot, just like me, just like Marcus, just like the rest of the bridal party. Lewis, you, you truly are an amazing brother. He has taught me some incredibly powerful lessons, one of which is not to take life too seriously. Laura, whenever I speak to Lewis about you, or he talks about you, his eyes are glowing. You're beautiful, intelligent, loving, and most importantly, patient. You know that you need that with a boy like Lewis. Again, I am so privileged to be able to call you my brother and sister, and I'm privileged you put me in part of this ceremony today. Shabbat Shalom, enjoy your evening. We'd like to take this opportunity to thank you all for joining us tonight at this beautiful venue to celebrate Laura and Lewis's special day. Welcome to Knott's Bishop House. But I've been up all night thinking of you. One of the most unique things about Lewis is that he has always followed his heart. He's always walked his own path, even when I'm sure it seems scary. And for this, I admire him so very much. Lewis and Laura, I'm so incredibly proud of what the two of you have accomplished together. Lewis from Delhi Beach to Concrete King. Laura from Macca's manager to environmental programs manager. Your two fur babies and beautiful, beautiful home and now this amazing milestone. If I help you up, will you lead me through the night? Will you take my heart? Can you promise me an afterlife? Oh, when we lose our time, slow down. I can see you're slowing 
You learn a lot about a person in 10 years, but you also learn a lot about yourself. Laura, you make me a better person and a happier person. We were just kids when we fell in love and we didn't know what it was, but now I know. We've come so far and built so much in this short time, but everything seems short when you say you want to spend the rest of your life with the person that means the most to you. I hope you know I'll always do the best I can for you, forever and always. I love you, Laura Eustine. Take my heart, can you promise me? <laughs>